Lake Victoria Environment Management Project, LaVemp Phase 2, is promoting the adoption of cleaner production technologies with the overall aim of reducing industrial pollution that endangers Lake Victoria. This documentary is focused on the respective benefits realized through the institution of cleaner production technology by Kibos Sugar Factory in Kisumu, Western Kenya, Nyanza Bottling Company Limited in Mwanza, Tanzania, and Leather Industries of Uganda Limited, based in Jinja, Eastern Uganda. Cleaner production technology is among others centered on maximizing industrial production benefits and conserving the environment through the provision of on-site pretreatment of industrial waste and efficiency in utilization of raw materials through sorting, reuse and recycling mechanisms. The concept of cleaner production is win-win. It helps industries make money, but at the same time protect the environment by uh, preventing pollution at source. And one of the key issues that we are actually saying to the, to the industries is that any form of waste is actually a money. So any time that you're letting, at whatever stage of production, whatever that you're letting out, what we're saying, you're actually letting out money. So you can't use money to drain out another money. You need to reduce as much as you can before discharging to environment. The scope of this documentation covers the integration of cleaner production technology right from the raw material stage through the chain of production and finally the treatment of the factory effluents. Joyce Opondo, the Occupational Safety, Health and Environmental Manager at Kibos Sugar Factory, reflects on the situation before the institution of cleaner production technology. The company started crashing in the year 2007 and it was grappling with serious issues of the environment and, and uh, environmental pollution. And that came in terms of uh, solid waste, uh, air pollution, and discharge of wastewater. Unfortunately for us, the people downstream have been suffering. We were overwhelmed. Our treatment was not exactly what it should have been. So what was going into the river as discharge was way above the recommended measures by NEMA. Cleaner production at Kibos Industry begins with ensuring minimizing courage of bulky raw materials, mainly comprising of mature sugar cane. This is done to ensure efficiency in sugar production without affecting the maximum juice that is expected to be extracted from every single sugar cane. Normally we recommend cutting from the bottom because that's where the concentration of sugar is as opposed to Previously, when we were cutting, uh, they were cutting can even from maybe two feet from the bottom. We were losing so much on transit to the factory from the wind bridges because people would want to pull cane from the tractors that are moving. So when they, they're not uh, well held, there could be a spillage on the road. So we were losing up to 1.2 tons sometimes in, for just a truck per trip. But after interventions, we are now losing less than 600 kgs. At Nyanza Bottling Company Limited, water is the main bulky raw material utilized in production process. Peter Simon, the head quality environment occupational safety and health, is happy to note that the introduction of cleaner production technology has reduced the amount of water required to produce a bottle of beverage by 50%. How can we reuse the water or recycle the water so that we can minimize the discharge and discourage the end of treatment systems which we use to be an old method? So at the moment, we have done some initiatives. One of the initiatives is metering all the areas so that we know every day how much amount of water is used in different unit operations. And the fruit we got is we have already minimized the water flow using a 4.2 liter of water to make one liter of beverage to a 2.3 liters of water to make one liter of a beverage. Hides from cattle are the main raw material at Leather Industries of Uganda Limited. The hides are gradually processed into leather for both local and the export market. Silver Sebagala, 
from the Cleaner Production Center in Uganda provides insight into the situation before the center engaged the leather industry to take on this good practice. The situation was really bad in terms of use of materials, energy efficiency, waste management, uh, and, and that was in the, the year 2010. And at that time, um, the industry had been uh, closed by NEMA. Nelson Agaba, the production manager at Leather Industries of Uganda Limited, says the Institution of Cleaner Production Technology has tremendously enabled the industry to enjoy efficiency benefits through low costs of production. This is being realized out of increased savings, recycling and reuse of industrial raw material inputs. We looked at uh, reviewing the process per se and looking at how much more we could save for chemicals by minimizing on chemical losses. Then on the energy, we looked at uh, using transparent sheets which allow light to go inside the factory like during daytime so that we can switch off uh, the tube lights and the other lighting facilities. So that also brought in a saving. Then uh, looking at the effluent management per se, we looked at uh, facilities like chrome recycling because they are chemicals that will discharge but which can be recycled and brought back into the unit for reuse. So we, we, we put up a chrome recycling plant which is working efficiently and uh, we looked at uh, building a complete effluent treatment plant. At that time we had a primary treatment plant and after treatment of the effluent we would discharge it to the national sewers but improving our treatment plant meant that we would meet the standards of discharge into the environment and that of course would offer us a saving since we are paying so much of money discharging the effluent into the national sewers. At Kibo's sugar factory site, sugar juice is extracted and sorted from the crushed sugar pulp material, now called bagasse. Bagasse is eventually collected and reused as raw material for production of over 90% of the electricity power requirements at Kibo's sugar factory. Uh, we were wasting power on big motors. We were also wasting power on lighting system. So we installed new capacitors as part of energy saving. In spite of uh, introducing capacitors, they were waste, energy wastage. We diversify our method of starting. We introduced what we call variable frequency drives. So we could regulate the power. We used to pay about 800,000. We came down up to 400. So we removed the, the iron sheets, we put the translucent iron sheets, and then we're switching off the lights. It's as bright as you're seeing the room we're sitting in. There is strict guard against industrial liquid leaks comprising of sugar juice, water and oil during the entire chain of production. This ensures a clean and healthy working environment as well as avoiding accumulation of industrial pollutant liquid waste material. So much uh, uh, spillages we have controlled from 2009 onwards. We have uh, removed all old pumps and uh, introduced new efficient pumps and uh, we trained the people to always attentive and if any gland packing is uh, loose immediately he has to renew the gland packing so that the juice cannot go outside from the pump. After separating bagasse from the extracted sugar juice, the concentrate is directed to the press mud machine. Here, solid material comprising of soil particles and any other elements are separated from the fine sugar juice concentrate. Towards the end chain of sugar production, sugar dust and sugar grains that are not medically recommended for consumption, but still mixed with fine sugar is sorted out and reused by channeling it back into the production process, turning it into fine sugar which is then packed into bags ready for the market. At the beverage factory, durable used bottles are cleaned using steam generated by a boiler. The use of steam in cleaning the used bottles results into efficiency, 
particularly by minimizing the quantity of water used before the factory switched to cleaner production technology. Bottles and plastic material are reused while those that get damaged or broken are crushed and recycled into new materials that are eventually reused by the factory. The company decided to invest and shift to use of a boiler that consumes reusable biodegradable materials like timber cuttings, cotton and coffee husks. This is opposed to use of the furnace fuel oil boiler, which is very costly and produces oil waste that is harmful to the environment. The agro waste boiler has a lot of advantages compared to furnace oil. First of all, emissions will be reduced. The second one, we use also agricultural materials to burn and get energy. So another advantage is we are clearing up the waste that has been accumulated outside the society and put into energy. The final component of cleaner production technology at the respective industries is the effluent treatment. Most outstanding and significant is the fact that two out of the three sampled industries no longer discharge their effluent into the surrounding environment. Although the leather industry does discharge some effluent into the environment, the use of cleaner production technology has enabled discharging lower effluent quantity, which is in conformity with the recommended environmental standards. Through the guidance of UCPC, and the, the management was very committed to put up a secondary treatment plant because we had weighed the benefits. Every month we were paying 11 million shillings to the National Water and Sewage Corporation to receive our effluent after primary treatment of this effluent. But putting up a secondary treatment plant means this amount of money that we were remitting to the authority would come to an end and to us that was a saving. The effluent treatment process involves separation of oils from water contained in the effluents. This is the first stage of water treatment. Thereafter, effluent water is recycled by being channeled into several stages. Water is progressively filtered and naturally or organically treated till it gets clean once again and medically declared fit for reuse in the respective and appropriate water factory requirements. The highly rich organic fertilizer phosphate compound that is separated from extracted sugar juice is deposited at a designated site awaiting application on the respective kibos sugarcane plantations. Besides, there is an open opportunity that some community members are at liberty to collect the phosphate fertilizer for their own utilization. At Nyanza Beverage Factory, the organic rich ash derived from the boiler is also a good fertilizer. While at the leather industry, a drying platform has been built to sun dry meat, flesh and skin cuttings that used to decompose, creating an irritating smell because of being buried under shallow ground within the factory compound. The sun dried meat, flesh and skin cuttings are subsequently burnt using an incinerator. Through interaction with the UCPC and through other consultations, we were able to come up with ways of managing our solid waste and now we dry it, we spray it with hydrogen peroxide, so we incinerate it. That is the reason why we can have you know, an environment that is favorable for someone to work in. Much as the respective East African cleaner production centers are encouraging many industries to take on cleaner production technology, there are challenges that hinder and constrain those who would be willing to implement this good industrial development and sound environmentally friendly practice. Normally it requires money. And this money is something that is not always readily budgeted for because already the budget has already been set and then you come up with an option. So financing is the major challenge that we face. And sometimes the, this money is the, um, too small for the commercial banks and also too large for microfinancing. We have been um, trying to find a way of establishing a financing mechanism that is suitable for promotion of investment in resource efficiency and cleaner production 
that will lead to development of a green economy. Despite the challenges observed, it is significant to note that the application of cleaner production technologies by the three sampled industries has positively impacted both on industrial development and conservation of the environment. What used to be our discharge, which used to really disturb the community downstream, has now improved the NEMA requirements, the NEMA standards, are that BOD should be not more than 30 milligrams, milli, milliliters per day, and the COD should not be more than 60. Currently, we are managing 10 milliliters per day for, COD, for BOD and 39 for COD, and that is a huge improvement. And on top of that, we are no longer discharging water into the, into the river. Instead, we are recycling that water. We are using it for construction purposes, and we are also using it for ensuring that the roads are not dusty, which is also a requirement, an environmental requirement. At the end of the day, I can say that the environmental benefits that we have got from RECP are extremely large. You know exactly how much you are saving. It's a big saving. And you are trying to reduce more, more if possible by identifying other sources where we can be able to reuse or reduce. So we still have opportunities to reduce more and get more profit. By adopting a cleaner production, we were able to look at ways in which we can use water efficiently. Within one month, we were able to minimize a reduction of 2.5 million. As a result of commendable environmentally friendly workplaces arising out of the integration of cleaner production technology, the sampled industries have won a number of awards. This is one way of motivating and creating role models in sustainable Lake Victoria Environment Management Initiative. The way we have been going, I see us getting much more awards than what we already have. We are enjoying what resource efficiency and cleaner production has brought to Kibos Sugar. And I'm sure even the community around us is enjoying. Basing on the benefits realized as testified by the stakeholders that have taken on this good practice, surely cleaner production technology is the way to go. Resource efficiency and cleaner production is a very good concept because it simply means saving money and protecting the environment. And if